Hello guys, this is the last tutorial on join based facial expression and this time we're gonna do the mouse but before we do that we can actually mirror our uh, our facial rig from the left side to the other side okay. uh, now let me just grab those three controllers and delay those because I don't really want to mirror those <laughs> so what I have left now are just those controllers okay and uh, the curve and the joints that are following the curve. Okay, that's all I have. Let me drag that uh, weight holder, which is the bottom one there. I drag it on the top, and then I grab everything there. Okay, those things are the uh, uh, the uh, system we set it up on the face that include controller curves and then joint groups. Now with those selected, we can go um, modify, duplicate, special. Oops, sorry, it's gonna be underneath added. Duplicate special, and then uh, you can use the duplicate input graph. Okay, and then duplicate special. What that does is uh, it will duplicate everything, but also duplicate their connections. Meaning, if I now drag uh, the, this duplicated eyebrow can raise the eyebrow up and down like that. Uh, I can I, I sorry I can raise the duplicated eyebrow curves up and down too. So they're all working. Alright, let me go grab the duplicated ones, group them together. Okay. And we actually don't need to rename them. But if we can try, if we try to mirror them to the other side, you see the controllers are all mirrored, but the joints are still there. And the reason is not because the joint cannot be mirrored, but they're actually being mirrored twice. If you drag the uh, scale back from one, uh, from negative one to one, you see the joint is going to the middle, right, and then it goes back because they have been mirrored uh, twice. So how can we deal with that? Well, if you go isolate that entire group and grab everything here, it's only it's only gonna allow you to select the joints, and you can press up button twice. Okay, that way you're selecting the groups of the joints. Let's shift P to unparent those, and then you can type in negative one on the scale X, and then you see the joints are following along, even they're not in the group, because they will follow the curve. Uh, that's why we don't need them to follow the group flipping. Okay, because the, the group already is flipping the curves, and the, the curves will automatically flip the joints uh, lived on them. Okay. Now everything works. All you have to do is grab the mirror joints and then the skin. Go rigging, skin, added influence, add influence. Uh, make sure you check lock weights and apply. And then you can do a skin, mirror skin weight, and that way you will have the other side. Uh, duplicate it without any problem. Okay, so that's the duplication. Um, oh, okay. Now let me control Z, go back, all the way back, and then uh, let me delete that group. Now instead of duplicating that manually using the way uh, I showed you earlier, because you have to rename everything, I actually devised a a little program to do that. So all you have to do is grab all the controllers. Okay, but you want to make sure that your controller convention is mine, which is uh, AC underscore uh, or a left or something uh, with the right naming convention. But I, I have something wrong here, which is AC without any left and right. That's wrong. So I need to do something here. So modify. Uh, search and replace names. I'm gonna search for uh, AC underscore and replace with AC underscore left underscore and then also affect the hierarchy and then apply. That way I will have those all named properly. And then I can go uh, grab all the top uh, top uh, node of everything we created. Okay, and then click the this button to put them into the controller selection and then the skin will be underneath the skin selection here and then mirror okay 
the mirror will be automatically down everything will be uh, renamed the waiting will be also uh, mirrored so uh, you don't have to do anything else after that but of course if you have some curves that are not named properly you will have this issue uh, of not renaming to the right side so you better check your naming <laughs> My name is uh, a little bit not consistent, so I have to uh, fix those things. So those ones are supposed to be on the right side. Okay, and that should be it. Okay, so now I have everything duplicated from one side to the other side. So let's move on for the mouse to the mouse. Uh, the mouse should be rigged uh, a little differently because. Uh, for simple things like the eyelid and then the eyebrow, all we have to have is up and down, maybe a little bit pushing forward and backwards, but we never have things like curling because we don't need that. But here on the mouse, uh, we clearly need more movement like curling or rotating or even scaling. So a uh, curve-based way, uh, use curve to drive the joints are not actually enough. So we're gonna use the ribbon way. Okay, now to create ribbon, I can uh, go grab uh, those ver those are uh, the lines, one of the lines on the uh, upper lip. I can go uh, modify, convert, and then polygon edges to curve. Okay, and then delay history on that, and then modify. No, oh, sorry, go to modeling curves and then rebuild it. That way, I will have a smoother curve. Okay. And then the rebuild spans will be 6 in my setting here. And then modify center pivot so I can move it. Okay, let me just move it back a little bit and control D and move it forward. So now I have two uh, curves. And then I'm gonna grab the, 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 the second one and then the first one. And then do the left. Okay, that will give me a surface. Okay. And when that is done, you can delete the other two and start start working on this one. Uh, so this one will be our ribbon and we're going to populate some follicle on it by going to FX uh, in here, create hair, and then the settings will be nervous curves and then U count will be 7 because I need 7 controls over there. V count will be 1 and then dynamic will be changed to static and then apply. That will uh, that way Maya will create a bunch of follicles with curve on it. So we don't need the created hair system. We don't need the created output curves or the nucleus. We just need the follicle. Okay. We can also rename that ribbon we created uh, and call it ribbon uh, upper uh, ribbon DRV. Okay, upper lip. Now I have some. I have a ribbon with some follicle lift on it, uh, meaning that if I drag the ribbon up and down, uh, the follicle will follow. Okay, but their distribution is not quite nicely. I want the first one to be at the very beginning of the uh, ribbon and the last one to be the end. So I can go grab those follicle follicles and change their parameters. So the first one will be changed to 0 to push it all the way back to 0. The last one will be to 1 to push it all the way to the end. And then what's in the middle, I also want them to be evenly distributed. If you calculate uh, the length I should go for everyone, it's going to be the, uh, the it's going to be 1 subdivide by the uh, spans. So we have 6 spans. We do some uh, very simple calculation. It's going to be um, 1 subdivided by 6, uh, will be equals to 0 0.16. Let's round that up. So 0 0.16 uh, will be rounded to 0 0.17. Okay, let's do that. So this will be this will be a uh, 0.17 instead. Okay, and then the second one will be 0 0.17 sub, uh, multiplied by 2, so 0 0.34. Okay. And then this one will be 1 minus 0 0.17, which is uh, 0 0.83. Sorry, yeah, 83, yeah. And then th this one uh, will be uh, 0 0.1 minus uh, 0 0.34, which is 0 0.66. Okay. 
uh, that should be uh, the distribution I want to have. Doesn't look like quite symmetrical. It's for that one is. Oh, I didn't actually change that. <laughs> Sixty six is the one. Okay, now we have uh, a better distribution of the follicles. Now I'm gonna create uh, joints there. So to create joints, I can start with uh, rigging skeleton and then create joints holding down X to snap one at the origin this one will be called JT upper lip uh, ribbon uh, band zero one okay now let me duplicate that uh, seven times because I have seven uh, follicles right here and then with those selected, let's use my uh, code. And we want, what we want to do is uh, group the joints only. Okay, and then we're gonna create. That will give the joint a locator and then the group. It's better to change that from AC to JT actually. So let's go to modify, search and replace name, and search for AC and change that to JT and then apply. That way they're joint group. Okay. All right. Now with those created, I can now just oh, if you open the uh, follicle folder, you see those curves underneath the uh, underneath every each one of those follicles. They are not doing anything; just delay those, and then you can parent uh, the ribbons. Uh, sorry, the uh, the joints uh, group underneath uh, every follicle one by one. When that is done, you can grab all the joints, press up twice to select their group, and then zero out their translation. Oh. Interesting. Let me. Oh, that one is not there. That's why. So select all the groups, and then zero out their translation. That will move to move them to where the follicle is. Okay. Now if I do something with it uh, with the uh, nervous ribbon, I can now affect the joints. Okay. Now I also need uh, a bunch of joints populated along the uh, the surface to bend with the surface. Okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the easy way is go to Palm and drag a line here. Okay. And then go to uh, modeling curves and then duplicate surface curve. After that, uh, delete the history. Okay, so this one will be my curve that I can populate some joints on it. So I need to use my create joints along curve. The joint name will be um, a ribbon um, DRV. Okay, and uh, that should be it. Amounts will be five. Okay, joint radius can be one, I think that's good. And create ribbon. Oh, sorry. Uh, not create ribbon. <laughs> create joints. Okay. Oh, I have to select something and create joints. Oh, something was wrong. Let me delete those uh, ones. Here, that's the new one I, I clicked wrong. So I'm not gonna create ribbon there, I'm gonna create joints. Okay, now I have uh, five joints created. All right, so those five joints uh, are right now following the curve. Okay, that's not what I want. So I'm gonna just delete the curve. That's gonna free all the ribbon joints we created. Okay. Let's also go modify uh, search and replace name to give them proper name. Uh, let's search for ribbon. Change that to JT underscore ribbon. Okay, replace. All right, for those joints, uh, they're gonna actually be uh, banded with the ribbon surface. So with both uh, the joints and the ribbon, let's go to rigging, skin, band skin. Okay, what that does now is that I can use the uh, joints to control the entire ribbon now. Okay. Now this uh, is the 
physics setup of any uh, ribbon rig, you have a nervous, okay, and you will have follicles distributed on the ribbon, uh, which are those ones here. Uh, those follicles and then you will have a joint system underneath every follicle with your group locator and everything okay um, but that's gonna be a little bit complicated to set up every time so I have a code there I guess you already see it <laughs> let me go grab those lens and then go modify convert uh, polygon to curve okay and then go also uh, modeling curve rebuild, which is this one. Okay, and then I have this uh, create ribbon. So the band joint amount will be uh, seven. That's how many smaller joints that you want them to follow the follicle. The control joint amount will be how many joints you want to create to band with the ribbon surface. Uh, in this case, it's five. Uh, the ribbon width uh, is something that doesn't really matter and then the ribbon name and uh, name base will be the base name of the ribbon so i'm going to call that uh, ribbon um, lower lip okay uh, because that makes the text feel super small you cannot see stuff but it's i'm typing in ribbon lower lip okay and then uh, you can press create ribbon but that ribbon will be facing forward okay see that uh, that's because uh, the ribbon uh, direction can be controlled by the directions you actually need to use Z instead okay let's grab the curve again and then you can also uncheck keep curves that's gonna delay that curve after creating the ribbon so let's press create a ribbon and then it will be automatically created you will have a ribbon surface and then a follicles group with the joints underneath them and then you will ha also have those um, joints uh, those five joints that, that are banded with the ribbon surface and they're all working okay so we can actually organize our uh, ribbon the ribbon we did earlier on the top the same way so joints those joints will be the uh, skin joints so ribbon upper uh, lip skin joints and then the other ones which are the follicles okay let's call it uh, upper lip follicles so they are basically the same structure now we have two ribbons two follicle groups and then two joint group okay now it's time to actually band the joints uh, those smaller joints uh, to the skin. So we can go grab those two and then isolate and then grab all the joints and then the skin. Do rigging, skin, and then added influence, add influence. Okay. And we're gonna use lock weight, apply, and then we can go to the pen skin weighting tool and really start to give them weighting. So we have added in uh, a lot of joints actually. Let me make the list bigger so we can see them. So we have added in a whole lot of joints. Uh, let me grab those and then unlock those. Okay. So the lift ones we added are there. Uh, those ones was locked before is the ones we uh, duplicated from one side of the face to the other side. Now let's do the waiting for those ones. Okay. Um, before we start painting we can also select uh, the joints on the top drag them up and the joint on the bottom uh, the control joints or the joints that are banded with uh, the, the ribbon drag the top ones up and drag the bottom ones down okay that way we can uh, start painting and painting the weighting and get some feedback okay just to make things easier too we can also go grab one of the loops on the mouse and then grow selection multiple times and also grab the follicle groups which are the joints we have waiting with we can also deselect that face and re-isolate 
that way we are, we can focus on the part where we're painting. So let's go to paint screen weight. Let's do the uh, do them one by one. So this one uh, will be controlling the portion around it. Okay, the way painting is gonna take a while, so I probably will be uh, fast forward on this part. And but the basic idea is to uh, just give them nice and smooth weeding. Okay. Okay, so that is the weight painting of the lips. Okay, so right now I have a nice and smooth weighting on the lip. I can see you, you can already see the effect of the uh, joint based uh, rigging, and you see how uh, flexible it can be. You can rotate and scale uh, joints to manipulate uh, the shape of the mouth. Okay. So what else do we do? Well, after that, we can then combine our joint based weight, uh, facial expression with our original rig. We go select the joint root band and then shift edge. That's the uh, joint we uh, had when we start at the very beginning of the class. Okay, and we also have the head geo headed. Let's unhead it. Okay, now if you open the jaw joint, you see the head geo is opening and the facial is not because it's just a blend shape. It's not controlled by uh, the original joint system. Uh, so let's actually select it and head it. That way we can focus on the actual uh, geometry now. And then we can do some blend shapes when we open the mouse. For example, if the mouse goes to negative 30 degrees, right? And then not only the, uh, the the mouse is open and it's, it's smooth, but also there are other movements. For example, the uh, uh, the side of the nose and you know the entire lower cheek and upper cheek will be dragged down. So let's actually do that. Uh, if you go to uh, shape editor, uh, there's one downside of the duplication of blend shapes, which is they're not going to be showing up in the shape editor for some reason. Uh, so. Uh, 
you have to create par parallel blend shapes for the other side in order to keep working on those okay but no big deal um, but let's first uh, do the uh, adding in some blend shapes uh, for those curves and ribbons uh, so let me go grab the left upper cheek blend shape okay and add a target this target will be called uh, mouse open okay let's copy this target name and then go to left left line and add target the same name okay go to the nose side blend shape add target and then also the same name and then for the two ribbons you're gonna create blend shapes and then this is gonna be called upper lip blend shapes okay add a new target and this target will be also called the mouse open the lower lip uh, ribbon is the same thing you need a blend shape on it so this is called a lower lip blend shapes okay and then it will also have a target called the mouse open so just mouse open target on the ones you think the mouse open will fact and on the other side you need to do the same thing but they are not showing the list you need to go to create blend shape deformer and then in the advanced you want to check on parallel and then create okay this one will be a uh, right uh, left line blend shape and then you want to give it a new target again the same target mouse open okay let's move on to the side of the nose create a blend shape deformer again uh, make sure the setting is parallel it should be this is this is gonna be right um, nose side blend shapes okay in your target with mouse open and then last one here is the upper cheek create blend shape deformer this is gonna be right uh, upper cheek blend shapes okay and your target mouse open so we're just adding a lot of new targets and they are all mouse open target that's all of them here from the left upper cheek all the way to the right upper cheek so that one the left line nose upper and lower lip ribbon and then the other side okay now they're all having this um, same name uh, the same new blend shape uh, the same new target on their blend shape called the mouse open and then we can uh, just start editing those things um, we can uh, go uh, start with the ribbon uh, the lower lip ribbon and go to component mode we can grab this one because they're in edit mode so we can just start editing those so when you open your mouse uh, your lip is turned to reach uh, further than the joint okay so uh, you can also turn on symmetry so it's easier to just add it one side of it okay I'm also trying to uh, make the contour looks better I think I'm gonna bring those two a little closer. Okay, to form a nice arc. And then the top one is the same thing. Okay, so when you open your mouse, your upper lip is trying to go up a little bit, but really subtle, so you don't want to go up too much, just a little on the top. And then the side will be dragged along downwards. Okay also let's drag them in a little bit oh here on the side uh, you also want to tweak the shape a little bit uh, to form a better arc uh, so maybe there I can drag them forward to form uh, this arc better and then that one is a little subtle thing you can do is you can uh, rotate it a little bit because it's trying to also curling out uh, when you open it okay so some sort of things you can do uh, with the mouse open and I think I think the waiting I'm having there needs some tweaking but we can deal with that later okay so that's the shape I need for the lips and then for the other parts they are all the same thing for example the left line here I'm gonna grab those ones and drag them down 
Okay. Because they're being dragged uh, when the mouse is going uh, going down. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, you can keep it symmetrical by duplicating the the target, but I'm actually just gonna make them asymmetrical a little bit because no one is symmetrical anyways. But you still want them to look quite symmetrical though. Uh, maybe that's because maybe some uh, maybe uh, in most of the cases, right? The animator want to decide like how asymmetrical they will be. So you don't want to get involved uh, too much. Okay. Uh, maybe backwards a little bit because they're being dragged back too. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> Let's do the other ones, which are the uh, ones for the uh, nose. Drag them down, okay. Also tilt them down like that, okay. And then the cheek, same thing. Being dragged it down a little bit. Um, the end is dragged down a little bit too. Okay. So now we can do side driven key on those blend shapes. Let's grab all the blend shapes we did. There will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, three curves on both sides and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, two lips and then three on the left side, three lines on the right side. With those selected, let's right click and select to select the uh, blend shape. Go to animation, keys, Side driven keys that those are the, the driven ones, and then their driven attribute will be the mouse open blend shape target. The driver uh, will be uh, the joint, and it's gonna be rotation Z to drive those. Okay, and let's just key them and then select the joint, zero it out on the rotation Z, and then we can select the others and also uh, lower down the mouse open and key again. That way when you open the mouse, you can see now the uh, the, the uh, other parts of the face are always also being dragged along. Okay, so that's the basic idea of, you know, using uh, this way of uh, joint based rigging. Okay. Uh, you can do other things, uh, like for example, the corner of the mouse. You can have a controller. Let me just create a cube there to figure out the position of my controller. I can call this one uh, JT uh, left corner. Okay, and then use uh, the uh, create controller too, and we're gonna create a circle controller. It's going to use um, parent here and then create. Okay, that will create a controller. I can delete that cube now, and that's my controller. Okay, okay of course, I can of course uh, rotate it. Uh, 
let me turn off symmetry. So that's gonna be the uh, the corner controller of the mouse. It can also then be used to drive some blend shapes. For example, uh, if I uh, drag this out, right? What I want to do is I want the mouse to also uh, the lift also um, being dragged longer and then the other parts also will be affected. So we need new blend shapes here um, and they will be on the lips, so upper lip will have a target called the mouse uh, actually this, this need left right, left and right, so this is the left side um, corner okay, out Let's copy the name of this new target and then create a new target on the bottom lip ribbon. Okay, and then we can also have one for this guy, which is the uh, left line blend shapes at the target. It's gonna be also the same name. Okay, now those new blend shapes or new targets is now in the edit mode. Okay, also have the set of the nodes to have the same target. Okay. So now we have four targets. Now live we can start editing those four shapes. Uh, it's essentially the same way. Let's do the lip first. So uh, let's grab the corner of the lip. Have a nice and smooth uh, stop selection. We can now Oh, I don't know why I have constraints. Let me just slide the corner of the mouse out like that. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, and also in a little bit. Okay, and then I also need to uh, grab that those ones also uh, push them out because they are supposed to be pushed out when the corner is going out and of course uh, those parts all needed to be tweaked uh, so you see the, the, the downside of using curve is that you can only drag the end to slide it a little bit okay that's actually not good so uh, you can always switch everything we did uh, on the face into ribbon. Uh, it's just better uh, than the curve based. Ribbon will be able to select the, uh, the joints. Okay. And then the, uh, the side of the nose, of course, uh, which is that let me drag it out a little bit maybe rotate that way alright maybe down a little bit do the same thing for this guy to push it downwards a little bit okay alright so now we can go use that to drive uh, those blend shapes. So the driver will be that. Controller, translation X, will be the driver attribute. The driven ones will be those blend shapes. Let's do the mouse open. Key them. Oh, not mouse open, sorry. The mouse corner out. Key them. And then uh, drag the controller back to zero on the X and the other ones will also go back to zero and then key it. Now what we have is now we have the controller to drag the corner of the mouse uh, to the outside like that. Okay. So you see uh, joint based can give you really squishy results because you're just dragging the joints and uh, the benefit of that is joint based uh, it's easier to blend different shapes together. Uh, it's not that easy using a blend shape. You need all sorts of uh, corrective shapes. But anyway, uh, I would uh, 
leave the others for you. You can do corner up and down, and you can do in, just like how we did here for the nose. Okay. Um, but let's wrap things up. So let's say you finished everything here, all the controller and you know blend shapes are all done. Then we can start organizing the hierarchy now. Uh, the we have multiple uh, different parts of the face, okay? But we can organize their joints and controllers into uh, just one of the groups. For example, if I want to, let's actually go select uh, the original bending joint and hide it, so we can focus on the facial joints. We can actually just go grab all the joints, okay? And then press up all the way up to you know maybe just press the up and up button for like ten times just making sure we're selecting their top node. We can group them together, and those are gonna be called um, JT facial GRP. Okay, so those are join groups. Okay, and then we can go ahead those. And the rest is the controller and then the driver curve and ribbon. Uh, let's grab the controllers first. So those are the controllers we have. Let's also just press up multiple times so we can select their top group and group them together. That's going to be called AC, facial, primary, GRP. So that's the AC, GRP. And then the rest will be the uh, uh, the uh, DRV curves, the driver curves, and then the two ribbon we did for the lip. Let's grab, uh, group them together. Oh, there's a fatal arrow. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's just press OK. And we can go open the uh, start, and then we can actually just. I need to show you this. Let's go to. Uh, So when Maya crashes, I want to go to the uh, C drive and the users and your username, and then you want to type in uh, app data and go local temp, and then that's where the Maya saves crashed files. I crashed the same same way in Maya for some weird reason. Yeah, that's the files, and then let's go find the one which is. Oh, I have a lot of things here. Okay, uh, they will, they will have dates at the end so I should be able to find it it's really hard to find let's search for dot ma that's gonna make things easier <laughs> not that one <laughs> keep going then I should clean this up <laughs> let me just make them really big so I can look things easier We just just type that way. I can just look at all the things. Yeah, that's the one. That is the one. Okay. So let me open it again. I should be having everything I just left over. Okay, some weird thing happening. But yeah, it should be all okay. I don't know why grouping them will give you that weird bug, but it shouldn't. But anyway, now I have everything back now. 
So let's keep on doing that. So I was grouping those things together. Let's put them out underneath the, this group. Uh, this is gonna be the DRV group or other 11 group. Let's, let's call that uh, DRV official GRP. They're the driver stuff. Okay. All right. So I don't need to see those. Had those. Now I have controllers. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Now let's start creating some. Oh, you see, those ones are having a locator. You can go to object display and check visibility of on the locators underneath their shape node so you can add those. Okay, now we have uh, the controller join and DRV out there. Oh, also, that facial weight holder can be apparented to the joint group too. Okay. Now for the joint group, okay, let's unhead them again and then grab all the joints there and press up button. That's going to allow us to select their locators. Okay. And for those ones, we can actually use the code. Let me load my script. I have multiple versions. Scripts. Python big project version 26. Okay. Doc UI. And I can create controllers for those. They're gonna be Sphere controllers. I'm gonna use connection to you to control it. I'm gonna use point three as the radius and then create. Okay, now a whole bunch of controllers are being created. Okay, they are just the fears. Okay. And then let's grab them all. Okay. And then select the skin. I have this make follow skin. And what it does is it will make them follow the skin when you apply the, uh, the command. Uh, meaning now, uh, even though they are not supposed to be moving uh, before, right? But if you drag the controller now, you see they are kind of like sticking on the skin, which makes the controlling easier. Okay. Now, if you look at what actually happens is uh, uh, the code created a lot of... For every uh, Sphere controller, it creates a follicle to make it follow. Okay, let's also just group, group the follicles together. Let's call this one a follicle. Uh, facial GRP, okay, and had it. The ACs, the new ACs, will be grouped together. They're going to be called AC facial secondary GRP, okay. Now for those two, we can group them together. It's going to be uh, AC facial GRP. That's all the ACs. The follicles and then the drivers, we can group them also together. There are other elements. Uh, facial, GRP. You see the, the pattern I have there is that a group joint, a joint, a group for joints, a group for the animation curve, and a group for other elements. And that's how I organize stuff uh, even at the very beginning of the rigging class. Okay. And you can group them together. This is going to be called facial uh, rig GRP. Now to make the facial rig follow the skin, uh, we don't have any controller, but we can make that follow the uh, the head joint. So select that, and then the facial rig group. Go. Let's do a, a constraint parent constraint scale, so they will all follow. But if now if you rotate it now, you see it's it's not actually doing the the right thing. <laughs> okay, it's it's doing weird. Uh, that's because underneath the uh, facial rig GRP, some of the things shouldn't be following it. The other lemon facial should not follow anything. The joint facial group should not follow anything. So I'm checking their inherent transform of the only thing should be moving is the AC. Okay, now let's rotate. 
you see uh, the face doesn't change at all. Uh, it doesn't uh, twist or distort when we rotate uh, the controllers on the face. But everything else uh, will work. Okay. Uh, you can go now add the join and other element again. So we only have the uh, controllers there. And also group the uh, JT root band and call that one, that one master. Okay, we can drag facial drift GRP underneath master too. That way we should be able to global scale it or rotate. Okay, and then <laughs> everything else uh, should still be working without any problem. Okay, that's the ribbon. Uh, that's the uh, controller of the lip. Uh, you can just drag those spheres to refine the shape. You can rotate, scale, or do anything with that. Okay. Other controllers should also work too, so don't worry about that. They should all work. I think some of the weightings still needs to be fixed. Like that one is, you know, too sharp. But all the techniques are there, and you can uh, implement a lot of new uh, movements and blend shapes uh, to make the control more uh, versatile, I'll give it more uh, functionalities. Okay, you can even test it with a hundred times scale. Cannot even see it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it will work. That's just the viewport thing. Okay, that's all fun. Okay, that's it. That's the joint-based facial expression. Everything you need to do, uh, you need to learn. But it's not everything. It's it's actually you need to do more to make it more capable. Like you need to be able to rotate the eyebrow. Right? You need to be able to move it in and out. When you do that, you probably need a corrective shape to have the middle part uh, to make the, uh, the the wrinkles in the middle okay um, but other than that you know our other controls are working uh, quite nicely they will follow and they will do their thing all right that's it that's the joint based facial expression and uh, uh, of course this is not the only way uh, there are ways like people just do set driven keys on the locator of the joints and that will work. Other things are just using ribbon all the way and other people don't use curve or ribbon, they're just having joint placed there and then make them a controller and uh, that will still also work. And some of them doesn't have those secondary controllers to follow the skin, they just have the controller controllers parented to the bigger controllers to fake the following effect. Okay, so not uh, all of the ways uh, will work. Uh, so uh, I'm not saying my way is the best way, just like how other people are saying when they are doing their tutorial. But just one of the ways uh, that I developed uh, by learning from other people and then uh, combined everything I think is, you know, my kind of style, and then just combine them together and. Uh, uh, that's gonna be my way and y you can also learn from all different people and decide which way you like or which part of the workflow you like from one of the guys and then you can learn you can also also combine different parts of the rigging you have learned and then eventually you will have your own way so don't don't just uh, keep doing using the same way all the time things changes down the way and there are always better ways so I do encourage you to experiment and maybe look uh, through other tutorial and see if there are other ways uh, you think it will be better. Um, yeah. Uh, so next class we will do something new, so you don't have to do <laughs> joint based facial expression anymore. Uh, we didn't do anything that is needed actually, but you know joint based rigging is really complicated. Uh, it's not just setting up joints and everything, but you also need to do uh, a lot of stuff to you know make better, make the, 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 the deformation work and give you the, the shapes you need. And you need to tweak the weighting uh, carefully too to eventually make everything uh, looks nice and clean. So it's not an easy job by any means.
Alright. And thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.